So this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. It's going to be for the next 72 hours. So June 8th until the 10th. Of course, if at any point you do want a personal, uh, feel free to check out the description box. All that information will be listed there. And oh, feel free to subscribe too. So what's going on my Sagittarius for June 8th through the 10th? Okay, so when it comes to love, we have the Two of Swords. Career, we do have the Eight of Cups. Advice for you, we have the Page of Wands. When it comes to the possible challenge, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Unexpected, we have the Queen of Wands. And then the outcome is the Ace of Swords. So let's zoom in. And the first card we're going to get into is the two of swords. This is representing your love life, of course. And with this, this is the energy of you having to make a decision there. And you're quite in the sticky situation. When I say this, um, this is you being in like a rock and a hard place because it's you feeling some type of way about an aspect of your relationship, but not necessarily being able to do anything about it. So a good example of this could be um, some of you, you're, you're dealing with someone and you want a relationship with them, but they may be non-committal at this point and you don't want to stop dealing with them, but you just want a commitment. So now it puts you in a rock and a hard place where it's like, well, do I stop dealing with you completely or do I just allow the circumstances of our relationship to still function the way that they are? For example, or uh, you guys don't really like the aspect of, you know, the person that you're dealing with having children with someone else. And then the drama that they may have with the person they have children with may be affecting both of you guys' relationships. So that's some some examples of being in a tough situation. Of course, this is going to be different for each and every one of you. But for a lot of you, you're in a weird space where, again, you can't really necessarily do anything about your situation because if you were to do what you, how do I put this into work? You guys get what I'm trying to say. There's nothing that you could necessarily do <laughs> without feeling uncomfortable with the decision you have to make. For others of you, you could be dealing with a partner who just seems like they don't necessarily know what they want. And this could be very confusing for you. All right. Now, when it comes to what I see for career, we have the eight of cups. So this is you feeling as if you want to, mm, Maybe take a step back and make some like adjustments or really take some time to really figure out what makes you feel content. You could be realizing that certain things that you felt like would make you feel content or complete don't necessarily make you feel that way. OK, you could be realizing that emotionally mm, what you thought you were going to get from a certain career didn't necessarily give you that. And you could be just finding a way to either. um like find your passion or find something that's more fulfilling or at least do things a little bit differently in terms of your career. Now, the possible advice with the page of wands, there's a need for you to get back into your bag or get inspired. I should say some of you have been really lacking a level of inspiration or like constant inspiration. So you could have moments where you do feel inspired, of course, but just not enough to keep that same momentum. Also, a lot of you have some really brilliant ideas and things that you could definitely do uh, as entrepreneurship. If some of you have been thinking about that, it's just there needs to be more of a proper plan in place. And also this same passion or excitement that you may feel for those ideas should be poured into action. Um, also, communication between you and your person needs to be a lot more, or at least when it, communication and arguments should be a lot more structured, I should say. Now, 
the possible challenge here, I do have the page of pinnacles. So some of you could be dating somebody who isn't necessarily meeting up to your expectations. You could be, you know, expecting this person to be able to do this or do that or be this type of person for you. And they could be, you know, still needing to grow in certain aspects. Um, some of you, it's more of like you want more money and you could be feeling as if like certain money opportunities you want, but you need to sort out your plan of action on that. Some of you, your health, you want to better your health. You're trying to find ways to to do so. So I don't feel like there's necessarily any big challenges during this time frame, just like more personal um, little issues that are coming up. Now, what I see for the unexpected with the Queen of Wands, something to do with the Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo may come up during this time frame. Or this may have a lot to do with just the energy you may receive. So you may be receiving more like passive aggressive energy from people or just more aggressive energy just to be honest with you. Or you may find yourself being more like quickly agitated. You may get also a boost of motivation to get going on certain things that you may have been slacking on too. Um, but I definitely see like a boost motivation and like I said definitely needing to make sure you don't have people around you who are testing your patience or who are purposely like trying to incite issues now the outcome I do have the ace of swords so this is you having clarity towards the end of this time frame you will be definitely getting some personal clarity and aha moments that are going to take place that basically click things into place and put things in perspective for you and this is going to help you to strategize and move forward so that's good now the last card this is going to be the theme we have movement choices and decisions so with this the this time frame is going to have a lot to do with again decisions like the first card that we had was the two of swords so this has a lot to do with decisions already so a lot to do with your decisions um, how they're going to long-term affect you. And it's about getting things going, honestly, getting things shaken. So this energy looks good. I'm going to leave it right here. I hope that you did take something from this video. If you did, feel free to thumbs it up and to subscribe. Of course, any information that you may be needing will be listed below in the description. So just check that information out. And oh yeah, don't be afraid to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a beat. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye.